there's a lot of talk about diversity in the next generation of home buyers. But how do we reach them? And do our organizations need to change their processes in order to bring home ownership to their door? Today I'm here with Kristen Messerly, and she's going to give us some of the answers. Kristen, tell me about the company you started. I started Cultural Outreach Solutions and we help companies primarily in the mortgage industry with reaching young and diverse markets. And how do you go about doing that? What kind of advice do you give companies? We do anything from, uh, we start with an audit and so we you know, get a full analysis and then we always do employee training because everyone needs to be culturally competent and even if we do a big initiative you can lose a lot of customers and ultimately hurt your brand if everyone's not on the same level. Um, and then we do a lot of social media, marketing, and nonprofit partnership relationships. What are a couple of quick tips we should know about attracting young and diverse home buyers? First of all, get partnerships and connections within diverse communities. Um, so if you can develop relationships with leaders, nonprofits, and um, yeah, church leaders that are already invested and have the trust of, of these communities, um, then you're able to open the door and really expand your network. Um, you need to invest when you do that in the relationship and resources that come alongside that um, and make sure that you have people from within those communities to, to best serve them. Um, so for example, there's a, a company we were working with out of Detroit who uh, we were able to bring in over 600 applicants with, within a predominantly African American community um, and over 65% pre-qualified, uh, but then we had very little follow-through because they didn't have people invested in those communities that were there to actually have hands-on experience. So I think kind of pairing that initiative with hiring diversity, diverse hiring initiatives um, really overall will help you to, to get more young and diverse home buyers. So you mentioned one just now. What are some of the pitfalls lenders should avoid? Uh, one is just ignoring the communities altogether. I think so many times we, we tend to stay in our, our little bubbles and, um, and we also assume that people are going to understand things the way that we understand them. Um, the golden rule doesn't really apply very well in business when you're looking at diverse and young markets. Um, if someone might, may not want to be treated the same way that I would want to be treated. And so, um, like when you look at translating documents, for example, or translating marketing materials to another language, you really want to think about culturally how do we translate this in a way that makes sense um, and, and really is effective in these markets. What do you think the industry is going to look like in five years? I think in five years we're going to see the industry continue to shift toward a buyer-centric experience where um, over the last few years we've seen um, us move from a very indi industry-driven process where the provider decides how the customer experience unfolds and today the buyer decides where they're accessing information, how they're accessing their loan officers and their, their providers. Um, so I think that in order for companies to really thrive in the future, they need to understand their consumers, provide a lot of information and accessibility through multiple channels, um, and continue to just drive that relationship with the consumer. So I think it's important we heard understand the consumer, invest in your communities, get to know the infrastructure that you need to support the people in those communities in order to reach the new home buyer. Thank you so much, Kristen, for being here. Thank you so much for having me.